Good morning everyone, it's Amy Astro here and I am back with a new video made just for you all. So you know lately I have been a little MIA, but a lot of it had to do with just a lot of clouds. But the last few nights have been just spectacular here and I love it. Dark space, clear skies, there wasn't a whole lot of moisture in the air so it was really great. But you know what's important to do after you take your images overnight? is to take your calibration frames. So I wanted to show you guys two things that I use to take my flats, okay? Now I've got an inexpensive option and a little bit more expensive option, and you're just gonna have to choose which fits for you the best. So let's talk about flats today. Alright, so I started in astrophotography about four years or so ago, and I needed an inexpensive way to create my flats. Now, most people were doing sky flats, but they are very unpredictable, especially here in the south, when I tend to have a lot of clouds and stuff during the day, or it's really, really bright. So I really didn't want to have that as my option, and I wanted a little bit more predictability to it. So what I did is I purchased an LED panel. This is one of those tracing panels where you put a sheet of paper over it and you draw away tracing something. But they're really inexpensive and you can pick them up on Amazon between $20 and $30 or so. What's great about these is they are USB powered, okay? Now, I think it's a USB B. I'm not real good with these connections. But it is the USB connection that tends to be real flimsy and it breaks real easy. So I will have to admit this is my fifth panel that I have purchased, all because of the power. But you get what you pay for. This works great. It's a relatively even surface. Um, the downside of this is it tends to be really, really bright. So you turn around and you have to use t-shirts in front of your lens, secured on with a rubber band, and sometimes you need one, sometimes you need two. Some people use a sheet of paper. So you have to play with that and, and hope that you don't get the t-shirt pattern in your flats, okay? So that's one drawback. But what I did is I took this panel and I bought some black foam core and I cut out a circle on it the size of my telescope, the end of the telescope. And then I used some duct tape and I taped it onto the front. And my finished product ended up looking like this. It's nice and deep here, which I did that on purpose so it would literally hang on the front of my telescope. And the power button is still very accessible over here, which you can see I left it so the black paneling was not there. And again, this is the USB, the real thin, the small uh, USB plug. So it's right now is nearing its end of life. But I would take this panel on the lowest setting I could get and a t-shirt on a rubber band going around the end of my telescope and I would take my flats. And you know what? It served me well for many years other than every season or so I had to buy another tracing panel because the constant wear and tear on the plug, it was just not designed for that. Now if you had a fixed setup or you had an observatory, you could hang it on the wall or something that would be awesome but I didn't have that so I had to break it down every single time I was using it and store it okay so that was the beginning of my astrophotography what I stepped up to about six months ago was the Pegasus Astro Flat Master okay now these come nice little carry case of various sizes you choose the one that fits your telescope the best this is the one that I chose. This is what was available for sale at the time. It's a little bit too big for me and it has a slight lip on it so I can connect it or hang it on the end of my telescope. But for me, I, I wish this was just a little bit deeper so I could hang it better. It comes with these little plastic 
I'm not sure what you call them here, but they're little plastic tubes. And they thread onto these screws here like this. And it was designed so you could hang this on the end of a telescope. But for me, even on the smallest one, this is too big for my 102 millimeter um, Explorer Scientific scope. This one also uses USB, but it's a much more secure connection. And it has a button down at the end that has up to five dimmable settings. This works really great, but let me tell you what I did. This is the second panel that I got. Why the second? Well, because I honestly thought that the first one was dead on arrival. And this was my mistake because here I am, I'm outside, the telescope's set up, I'm gonna do my flats before I bring everything in, or I've got two nights, so I don't wanna bring the telescope back in. And I take this outside, I connect it to the USB, um, the USB hub that's on my telescope, and then I do this. I plug it in. Now I want you to watch. This will automatically power on as soon as I plug it in. It is now on. Did you see any changes? It's off. All right, let's let's put it on again. All right, I, I didn't see anything here, but I know it's on. Yep, that's off, and that's on very subtle you don't see it so when you're in a bright area and you turn this on you are convinced it doesn't work so what do you do you call the vendor up and say listen i got a dead one in the box and they very kindly accept it back and send you a new one well when i got the second one back and it was the same way i had this fear that pegasus astro did not have good quality control and then a light bulb went off what if this panel was so dim and so evenly lit that I can't see it in the daylight? So I will take this into a darker room in just a moment and I will plug it in and show you what it looks like in a darker room. And you'll be totally surprised because this is relatively bright in a dark room. So. I set up my Sequence Generator Pro, the Flat Wizard, and it comes up with all my times. The times are very reasonable for me to take my exposures. The final results were fantastic. I have way more dust bunnies on my filters and my lens than I would like, but this created a really nice, even image. There wasn't a whole lot of extra vignetting that I would have gotten with the, the light panel here but also using these tracing panels because it is so bright that I was taking flats at 0 0.01 second. And in fact, my red, blue, and green were all 0 0.01 seconds. Seems a little odd. Um, that's about as fast as it wants to go. But when I take this one, I get 0.15 seconds and they all vary slightly for each filter that makes more sense. This produces a much higher quality flat than the tracing panel. But if you're just starting out, this is a great place to start. It served me well. I have fantastic images online using this as my flat panel. Now, the last six months, I'll be producing, well, I've still got to process them, but I do have more images with these that are upgraded and they just look better and um, I'm happier with the results. So this guy is about $200, okay? So $200 versus 40-ish dollars once you get all the bits and pieces together. It's a, it's a big deal. So go for your budget and what works for you. Um, right now, I'm real happy with this. Um, there is a couple things that I wish they would do. Because this is so dim, and I'll turn it off again, and I'll turn it on, you can't see it. What they really should do, and I wish they would do in their next generations, is add a red dummy light down here. Just so you know you have power and that it's on. Because I'm telling you what, doing this outside during the day, 
it, it will really be bothersome. Now, yes, I can look at my computer screen and you can tell the difference between a dark and a flat frame just by looking for the dust bunnies. But there have been times that I have taken flat frames and this not be powered on. So just be aware of that and make sure that it is definitely on. And it does have these five dimmable settings here. I typically use the brightest one and for me that is just working well. So that's what I've got for you guys this week. I've given you two options for flat panels. A budget friendly one, one that's a little bit more expensive but really it doesn't blow the bank when you consider everything in this whole astro world. But I'd like to take a moment and thank everybody who signed up for my big giveaway. The big reveal was last week. Everybody has contacted me. Congratulations on your win. Um, I'm really excited for you guys and I can't wait for you to receive your new equipment, okay? We're working on that right now and you should be seeing it pretty soon. If you guys like these type of videos, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, hit the little alert bell so you know when I upload new astro related material, which now I plan on getting just a little bit more regular. You know, life does offer some hiccups, so there may be a week lag between some videos, but I'm going to do my best to come back to weekly. Leave me comments below. You know I love to answer them, and I answer each and every one of them. Pop over to my website. I need to do some work on that, guys. Give me some ideas of material that you'd like to see up there. I'm still trying to learn WordPress. It is still a little kicking my butt, but it's all a learning experience. Well, guys, that's all for this week. Thank you for joining me. And I'm wishing you guys some great health, clear skies, and I will see you all in the next video. I love each of you. Goodbye.